advantage over sweets right now both players in let's switch to that lovely overlay let's see if we get the bug again i don't know if we will or not hopefully not anyways hopefully it's just you know, right. gonna there we go it. we're started sweets All versus right. lash round two Let's see what can go on. Both players with juice right now. Lash opting to throw a back lob, losing his juice off of that. I mean, that's kind of sad to see, but he, maybe he has a plan there. He's going to go lob heavy versus Sweets. I know Sweets not a very happy person with lobs, much like a lot of Stanton players. For sure, definitely. And looking at lobs, uh, people are saying they are a little bit Yep. So that first one almost gets to a hell and a half. 26 points going for Lash on that post shot. Sweets down big right now in set one. Definitely. I mean, you know, Sweets just going to have to keep it up and be ready for those lobs now that we're seeing from Lash. Yeah, and oh. Picking up the drop shot, Lash puts it down the line, catching Sweet, jumping to that right side, and it's 42 to zero. I mean, we could very well see a jam here. We were talking about the last two times these players were playing, but we do see the slide from Lash, and Sweet's down the line. Lash right now going for the filth, it's skimming, but Sweet's gets there. Hard hop with the juice, lands. It is not gonna be a jam today, son. Goodness. Such high level play that we're seeing right here. Yeah, and right there, Sweet's coming back with a short, with a small score, but scored nonetheless on another filth. So right now, both players kind of, you know, lashing out, if you will, no pun intended. But uh, Sweet's trying to build his juice back up, Lash having to slide. So Sweet stretches him and in the process gets his own juice and turns the juice favor around, but loses it. Post hop from Lash. Built from Lash, built from Sweets, and Lash cannot get there getting greedy. 43 to 42, and this is going to turn into a pseudo, ladies and gentlemen. You love those pseudos, don't you, Stick? Oh, yeah. They're, they're just gorgeous. Oh, I hear something. Oh, and there it is with that hard hop. Sweets gets the score, 57-42. So this set one goes to Sweet. It's kind of, you know, how we saw... The last time these players matched up, how it started. You know, a good first game so far. And then Sweets won it, but Lash took the next preceding three. Yeah, exactly. And we might say the same thing here, or otherwise, you know, Lash just you know, might take it all from here. Yeah, and right now, Lash up 19 to 0, winning the first two rallies of this set. But uh, lobbing and drop shotting, Sweet's not able to get there. Gets the first slide, decides not to even try the second slide. 27 to 0, but with that hard hop ace, Sweet's gets on the board. No jam. 10 to 27 right now, and Sweet's looking to make a comeback here on this set. Take game one in two games. So, speaking of taking games in two, two sets. I mean, how big of a deal was it in that first time they matched up here in this tournament for Lash to take game two and game three, four sets to none? I mean, it was just probably a big blow to Sweet, you know, seeing that Lash could do this deal. You know, it could, it could be a character thing, it could not, so we'll just have to go from there. Yeah, and a lobster fest coming out from Sweets, but it does him no good as Lash getting the skimming filth. 42 to 26. And Lash almost getting a super there. Sweets getting caught in the hop zone. And that is set to 50 to 26. So much like the last time they met, first game going to three sets. And it's anybody's game here, but if you had to put your money on anybody, who would you put it on right now? Honestly, I would have to put it on Lash just because, you know, of how skillfully he is with those curves. Yeah, and definitely being a Mac main here in this Mac versus Mac matchup definitely gives him kind of an upper hand. But both players throwing fills till Sweets throws that hard off. Wall ride from Lash, lob from Sweets as he has to slide. Wall ride from Lash from the back corner. Sweets caught jumping, 26 to nothing. So Lash, you know, losing that first set, but having a dominant performance here in set two and now in set three. But Sweet's on Juice. Lash trying to build up. He has Juice now as well. But that hard hop, man. That hard hop. What do you oh guys say? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that, 
there's nothing to say. Speechless. I mean, oh, and we just see Sweets miss his slide. But that hard hop, a lot of top players refer to it as basically a wasted shot because it allows your opponent so much time to basically get to the disc. We see a lob from Sweets there. Both players at zero. I mean, do you see a hard hop as kind of a wasted shot? It almost is, just because, you know, especially with your opponent, you do have a chance, especially with the McKenna hard hop, you, they're almost in the middle and, you know, right at the dot, and they do have a lot of time, so. But it yeah. depends, because sometimes, especially with the McKenna hard hop, it almost looks like a wall ride, so. Yeah, and right now we are approaching hell and a half. Sweets at, z at one, Lash is also at one. Lash opts to do the lob, and Sweets getting thrown post shot skinny post and he's down the king is down once again ladies and gentlemen yeah, game nice one game one going to lash can lash be the new king i mean if he wins this i know in the in the aw leaderboards sweets will still be far and above lash with points but at this point that will make it four tournaments in a row that sweets has taken second to lash does that make lash the king at this point as we see a beautiful wall ride from sweets to get the fourth score of this game you know, honestly, it might, and especially with the NA power ranking set to come out next week. You know, there may be a new number one here in the NA. Yeah, it, I mean, it was one of those things that being on that committee, you know, it, we wanted to. We wanted to put Lash above Sweets, but he just didn't have the resume yet. But I think after these last couple of tournaments, there is probably going to be a changing of the guard. I mean, Sweets might not slip to, but number two, but Lash definitely has, you know, kind of set his place up at probably that number one in the power rankings. So here we go, 15 points, wall ride from Lash, filth from Sweets, hard hop from Lash, post shot from Sweets, Hard hop from Lash. Hard hop from Sweets gets it again. That juiced hard hop. Lash also again not able to handle it. So you know, not really a wasted throw. Lob from Sweets. Built from Lash. Built from Sweets. Lash having to slide. Sweets doing a, a quick short slide to get himself a little extra distance. Gets there and he's on juice now. Lash on one and that short hop. Corner pocket. Oh, wow. I mean, what, what, what's the score, Sticky? <laughs> we're, we're here. We're here. We're here writing the eulogy for Sweets being the king, and we're not paying attention to the points he's putting up right I now. Know, Sweets is just getting those short hard hops, and it's just crazy. Yeah, and it's 62 to 15. I mean, maybe we shouldn't count the king out at this point. I mean, I, I, oh, yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna say, man. As we do see a beautiful post shot from Lash, forces the slide out of Sweets, and Sweets not able to handle that wide wall ride. I don't know what was going on there, but he looked like he could have gotten it, but just didn't manage to pick it up. Right? Yeah, you got stuck in that hop zone as you run down before. Yeah, and right now Lash at one, but that back panel. The post shot to the back panel, Lash putting up his shield, trying to get that extra bit of reach, not able to pull it out. And right now, 13-11, pretty much evened up here. One, one rally to one rally. All right, so right now, going with the hard hops is sweet. Gets a little greedy, slides like... <laughs> gets greedy, and then the wall smacks him at the end, says, come on, guy. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, guy. Uh, that, that wall is just like smacking people today. It's fantastic. <laughs> Anytime people get greedy for some reason, it just waits and then smacks them. I wonder if the devs actually put that into the game. That would be entertaining if they did, but I'm sure they didn't. All right, hell point coming in. Beautiful skinny filth from Lash. Sweet has to slide, loses his juice. Skinny filth from Lash again. And right down the middle from Lash, the rope a dope sends Sweet's face first into the wall. And you heard it hit the wall. It was like a chain link fence. Oh, yeah. That rope a dope hits deadly. Yeah, it's high level. 
Yeah, I mean, especially when you're throwing fills back and forth, back and forth, then all of a sudden you give a little bit of curve, but it goes down the middle. Dude, that can that can really mess up somebody's timing. It, you know, it'll get the slide a lot of times, and sometimes it'll even get you that score. All right, so back at a hell point again. Short hop from Sweets does not land. Skimming filth from Lash down the middle from Sweets. Wall ride from Sweets, forcing the slide out of Lash. Wall ride from Lash. Corner post shot from Sweets gets the score 20. 27 points, almost a hell and a half. And right now, I mean, if Sweets can land another one of those, he's going to take this uh, the second game here in this set three. But uh, out of position, I mean, we've seen that a lot from Sweets today, being out of position. We saw it quite a bit from Hunted. You really think it's kind of getting into his head at this point? Or, I mean, as we see him lose juice there, too. Yeah, just a little bit, you know, it, I think what it does is it, it's that mental game again. Uh, you know, it just has to remind himself to stay in position at all times and be ready for those. Greed strikes again, 27-27, go on with your point. All right, so here we go. Filth from Sweets, Filth from Lash. Block up by Sweets, goes for the hop, does not get Lash. Not a really sharp hop, kind of shallow there. Beautiful lob from Lash, but he does lose his juice because of it. Back lobbing Sweets. Wall ride from Sweets. Drop shot from Lash. Puts it in the front corner. Sweets able to get there and keep the juice for the post shot. 46 to 27. He is at advantage if Sweets gets one more disc. And with the... what? What's it called? Oh. The Block Lobster. <laughs> block Lobster seals it 52 to 27. We're going to game three and it's all split right now. One to one, ladies and gentlemen. And those points lash ahead 253 to 225. So, yeah. You know, even though Lash was looking, you know, technically better than Sweet, Sweet is just the king at comeback. So, you never know. It could just all be a mental game. Yeah, and for me right now, those lobs that Lash is making when he has juice, and we see greed coming out from Lash there, that's a mistake. But those lobs to me are errors on his point. I mean, he's easily getting to the disc. He's standing up. He can throw a perfect shot, but he's throwing a back lob. He's throwing a front, you know, a drop shot. If he would keep his juice instead especially when Ju sweets has juice as well i mean that's kind of where you got to go with it you can't be giving up juice like that on your own honestly yeah and it's just sometimes it is needed to get it set up but yeah if you have juice and you have a good shot then you just take it yeah all right so 15 points beautiful short hop corner pocket from sweets 25 to 13. so here we go right now sweets kind of on that front foot but uh don't count lash out i mean he has beat sweets in the last three tournaments but beautiful dude how can something so filthy be so clean it's, i i don't even know what to say I, don't I, know what to say, I mean, that was corner to corner. I mean, the only player I've seen that is a player that we do not see in tournaments, Ishii, that looked like an Ishii filth. But right now, Lash up 38 to 25. Oh, hard hop from Sweetser. I was figuring a uh, wall ride was going to come out. Beautiful hard hop from Lash, barely having any curb, going to that post, 48 to 25. So Sweet's in danger of losing kind of his advantage, his, you know, his momentum here. Does go for the post. Lob from Sweets. He does slide before that lob this time instead, giving up juice. Beautiful hard hop there from Sweets. Catches Lash off guard, forces the slide again. That was a wall ride from Sweets. Another wall ride back to the other side. Lob from Lash. He's trying to get Sweets off balance, but, I mean, with max speed, you can't really do that. And S Sweets nails the filth. It, it was a little too curved, but it managed to get in the end zone. And it is a jam point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I feel like we should have a sound for jam point, Stick. Yeah, we need something. J -j 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 point. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hell point incoming. Beautiful mid court from that mid line from Lash, but he does have to slide. So Sweets only one on juice. Hasher from Sweets seals that set on the jam point, 70 to 48. And right now Sweets making that comeback after being down, still has the momentum in his favor. 
Are we going to see the double dip? Whoever wins this game goes up two to one and puts a big strain on their opponent in another midcourt, this time from Sweet standing on that midline. I mean, those things are so powerful. They really are. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just, you know, it's unexpected for sure. Oh, hop zone score from Sweets, 24 to 0. Lash kind of making mistakes now. I'm not going to say left and right because it's not that many mistakes, but I mean, I'm sure you're noticing them as well as we do get the score there on the down the line shot, 11 to 24. Definitely. All right, so Lash lobbing, Sweets on Juice, beautiful wall ride from the hash mark there from Lash. Another lob from Lash. I mean, if we're seeing a lot of these backline lobs. They're just contributing to, La to Sweets' juice. Goes for the short pop there. And Lash trying to build juice with blocking. A beautiful wall ride. Lash having to slide. Sweets going with the deep wall ride. Cannot land. Another wall ride to the other side. And that's going to put him at the dreaded 49. But if he can get a disc here, it's a long ways to go for Lash. And there it is on the return. Two to one oh, for yeah. Sweets. Getting greedy once again. I, I know you're rooting for sweets. You always root for sweets. You love sweets. I do. I do a lot. So I, I do want to see this bracket reset. And then in that final match, you know, it's just going to be them battling it out as they are now. So Yeah. So right now, I mean, it's going to be one of those things that Lash, as he gets a beautiful filth there on sweets, forcing the slide, keeping his juice, however. I mean, Lash has a long ways to go. I mean, he could just be like, you know what? I'm down 2-1. I want to save face. Let's just let this game go. Go to the reset. And let's start over. Like, if, if he loses this set here, that might be kind of, you know, a tactic there for him to use. You know, just rest his hands, get ready. Yeah, get, get that restart. All right, so 22 to nothing for Sweets here. Can we see the jam? Beautiful filled post shot from Lash. No jam. 13-22. Lash back in this set in this game. 22 to 13. So we're seeing a lot of wall rides now from both players mixed in with their filths. I mean, it's really become kind of a wall-to-wall -wall game here. Who do you who do you think actually this plays out better for when it's a wall-to-wall -wall game? As we see Lash loses juice. Well, it's almost a contradictory because Lash is really good at getting, you know, the wall-to-wall -wall offense and things, but with Sweet's defense, he was able to get two wall-to-wall, -wall, so um, it's just almost a win-lose situation. Advantage, oh, Sweets, that wall ride, beautiful, perfectly timed, caught Lash off guard, and Lash on Juice, Sweets on Juice, straight shot from Lash, wall ride from the hash mark, that's a hasher for the set win, ladies and gentlemen, and right now, Lash has got to be thinking, you know, I won, I won game one, this is going exactly the opposite as the winners finals did i'm about to lose 3-1 here what what do i need to do and can you answer that for him stick what does he need to do here you know honestly it's it's up to him he has a couple decisions but you know, the first thing is he does keep battling out and try and get the win here in this first one and not force that racket reset or the other one is just to you know just play uh, just at the same pace and go to that racket reset and start with that fresh start yeah, it, it's one of those things, a lot of decisions for Lash to make right here is he is severely on the back foot, and yeah, both players trading fills, hard hop, fill, hard hop from Sweets, Lash going with a filth again, wall ride from Sweets from the hash mark, seals that, that uh, rally, 33 to 9, another hasher from Sweets out of the get-go, so Lash at 2, Sweets at 2, Lash at Juice, Sweets at Juice, down the middle, beautiful hard hop from Lash, catches Sweets, jumping, and doesn't get the score, but gets the, uh, the slide, so right now Sweets in a predicament where he has to build up Juice, and he just did that, but the wide wall ride from Lash, and there's another score on a wall ride. I mean, I think a lot of these scores these players are getting right now are from those hash marks out on the wall rides. You see how dominant they are. We talked about them earlier, but just tell everybody how, you know, how it is actually dominant for a player to hit outside that hash mark or inside that hash mark 
for a, uh, a wall ride? Like, what goes through your mind when you're at that hash marker beyond that you want to throw a wall ride? You know, hitting those wall rides from the hash marks. Double drop. The hashers are called. Uh, it's just a it, great advantage because, you know, the, the opponent is not expecting it whatsoever. So, I mean, it's just uh, that, and especially at, at mid court, you know, nobody's expecting a wall ride. Yep, so pseudo jam point here, 46 43, and the Lash, once again with the wall ride, gonna pick up that set too, 55 to 46. And I know I say it a lot, but it's a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. It's a barn burner right now. Ooh, beautiful filth forces the uh, the slide out of sweets. Lash running up on that white throw, getting the nice hard hop into that corner. Zero to 12 right now to start this set three, this last set of game four. Are we going to a game five? It's 22 zero. We could, I mean, you never know. Lash just came back in that last set, so we'll have to see what sweet can do. Definitely. Sweets gets his first score of this set. Only seven points, however, pales in comparison to the 22 points that Lash has. Lash going for the post. Sweets going for the filth. Lash going for the filth as well. Skims. Hard hop from Sweets. Post shot from Lash. Sweets has to slide. Loses his shoes. Lobs it to the back. Beautiful skimming filth. That was almost saw blade like for Lash. Up 37 to 7 right now. Wall ride serve from Sweets. And Sweets really needs to get a score here here get off that uh you know that backwards momentum that he's got i mean right now he does have to slide lash getting that lob and lash firmly with an advantage right now though he does have to slide lobs in the back sweets with the wall ride post shot filth sweets lands it for the 19 points one point shy of a hell point and it looks like sweets is coming back yeah, you know, Sweets is the king, the king of comebacks, so... Yeah, Good. that's why he's your favorite. And he, a ten, yeah, he has to be. A, a 10 point score there for Sweets, so 36 to 43. If we get to 14 points, that is a pseudo, and Sweets can win it at that point. We're 10, we're 11, but no, Lash with that mid-court wall ride, 54 to 36. We're going to game five in the first first part of the grand finals ladies and gentlemen these two players brought you a show sweet still leading on the points by 55 55 points he's in the lead but points don't matter all that matters is that number on the left that uh that wins number exactly you know like we were talking about lash had those two decisions to either just stick with the pace that the game was at and go to the bracket reset or push on and it looks like he just chose to push on so we'll see you know right now it's an even game so right now he should be thinking to keep pushing on and win this right here right now yeah i mean if sweets can pick this up it's going to be amazing for him if lash can pick this up he can say that he finally was not the loser and sealed it out without a double dip so here we go sweets going with the filth lash going straight down the line and both these players on juice now and it's gonna be a barn burner as that post shot lands for sweets 13 nothing and sweets actually you know we saw early on he was scoring with a lot of wall rides but now he's kind of switched up to the post shots same with lash getting that score there for nine points i mean it, I, I i don't know what to say about it i really don't even know the question to ask you at this point but these players are both i mean they're both changing it up they're both you know kind of seeing what's going on and adjusting to what they're doing what big adjustments so far have you seen from lash and sweets to kind of counteract each other Definitely. Well, as we saw at the beginning of the match, you know, last was, last was trying to uh, pull off the, the lob game on, on Sweep, and it just didn't work in that first set, and he ended up having to change it, you know, back to his normal uh, saw blade like uh, filth, and ended up coming back to win 2-1 to one in that first game. And then uh, Sweep, you know, has been doing a lot better job of getting it away from last and getting it in the corners. And as a switch, like you said, to go to the post shot, you know, the signature, signature move of a stand player. Yeah, and we saw 23 points go up right there for Sweets on that rally. 
It's 36 to 23 right now, and Sweets is at juice. Lash is at two, one? No, he has slide, so he's back at zero. Sweets going from that filth. It's going to land. We all knew that one was going to land. Lash way on that right side. 50 to 23 here in this set one. So Sweets one set away from the bracket reset, from the double dip, from possibly taking this one out of the last four from Lash when it comes to tournament wins. Oh, but a random tech slide coming out and Sweet's not able to handle it. Oh. Oh, man. I mean, that, that, that was unfortunate, man. He did need that. I agree. He needed that. So here we go. 13, 14, 15. Getting close to that hell point. Lash blocks it up. Goes for the wall ride. Back-to-back -back wall rides there. Sweets losing his chance for juice there. Post shot from Lash. Able to run up on that blue shot. 31 to 0. So Lash having to slide. Throws up that lob to the back line. Something we see from him quite a bit. Filth from Sweets. Post shot from Lash. Post shot from Sweets. So far up in the front court. Gets the score. So he gets on the board with 11 points right now 11 to 31 in favor of lash there comes those wall rides from sweets another lob from lash so often he just does the slide lat slide lob with mckenna and sweets having to slide loses his juice and right now both players building up sweet sliding though he's back at zero beautiful mid-court wall ride from lash knocks him down into the uh into the end zone 48 to 11 so advantage for lash right here sweet's going with the blue filth that was almost white ladies and gentlemen lobs it to the back and right now lash was at two slid could not get it it's 24 48 Ooh. So greedy. So greedy. Oh, and Lash going back to those greedy grabs right now. Not able to get him. Block up by Sweets. Throws a hard hop. Hard hop from Lash. Hard hop from Sweets. Slide from Lash. Loses juice. Wall ride from both ways. Lob from Lash. Wall ride back from Sweets. Another wall ride from Lash. Lash still not building up his juice. Lash has slide lobs. Another wall ride from Sweets. Wall ride from Lash. Post shot from Sweets. Does not get there. Beautiful skimming filth on the skinny filth. And that body went flying for Lash. 56 to 48. And guess what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Stick, what does that mean? It's a bracket reset. Double no! <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to actually reset the game so that the wins switch over. Um, and yes, Sweets want a, wants a three-minute break. So we're going to sit here, Stick and I, and we're going to analyze that last game, tell you what the players need to do here going into the bracket reset, going into the double dip, and who we think is going to get that number one spot in this tournament. So 